when we talk about submission everyone just go nuts the men are screaming oh women are not submissive the women are screaming oh we cannot submit to a man hello ladies hello gents thank you for being here today my name is Mira Skinder and you know that I do not take your presence here for granted so on today's video we are going to be talking about how to make your wife not to cheat on you see it is not a hidden fact that in our world today the rate at which women cheat is alarming people are always thinking that the men are the ones that cheat all the time but no women do cheat and the thing that is worst about a woman's cheating if you want to compare with it to a man is because a woman can cheat and you will never find out a woman can cheat and you will not even know you will not even have a clue that she's cheating because women they know how to multitask when they are walking into a room they are looking left right center all at once but when a man is walking into a room he is focused on where he's going to that is why it is easier for men to be caught when they are cheating in most cases when a woman is being caught cheating the man will either leave the woman or will never be able to get over it unlike in cases where women cheat where men cheat sometimes they can be forgiven most often when women cheat they blame it on a man so to the men i'm going to teach you what to do so that a woman will never blame you for cheating <laughs> make sure that your wife does not cheat on you is to validate this woman all the time women are emotional beings they crave attention they crave validation and that doesn't necessarily mean that they have low self-esteem no when a woman chooses a man that this is a man that i want to spend the rest of my life with this is a man that i want to show to my friends that this is my man this is a man that i want to call my own they expect you to validate them they expect you to make them know that they are beautiful. They expect you to make them know that these things that they are doing, you see it, you see them. You know, a woman wants to be seen. So if you're the kind of man who does not see your wife, if you're the kind of man who is not vulnerable enough to make the wife know that you see her, to make your woman know that you cherish her, to make your woman know that you are there, she doesn't get that validation. And it becomes worse when other people from outside are giving her what you are not giving her. And when I talk about cheating, cheating is not only the act of a woman going out there and having sex with another man. A woman can be right in there and getting all those things that you're not giving to her from another person. Because women, like I said, they're emotional beings. If they can see this person out there who is talking to them the way they want to be talked to, who is serving them, who is speaking to that love language that they want, they will attach themselves to this person. And God forbid that person is not you. Because a woman, sometimes you can be sitting with her in the room. You can be in the same room with that woman, but she's cheating on you right in front of you. She's cheating on you emotionally because she's taking something that you were the one who was supposed to be giving her. She's taking it from somebody else. So cheating is not only the sexual act, but when a woman's mind has shifted from you to another man, and this man is the center of her attraction because of the way the man is treating her, then she's gone. It's going to take a whole lot of you to realize yourself and bring her back to where you guys were when you first started. Because if she is out there and there is somebody that is entertaining her, she will want to have conversations with that person. If something is happening to her in her life, she will first of all run to that person to tell this person that, oh, this is what I've, has happened to me today. These are the things that I've done this, and all that. And you, on the other hand, you start feeling neglected because you were not showing her that affection. And there's somebody out there that is showing her because trust me, the way I have seen the world going, you understand, many men are always interested in a woman that is attached to another man. Many men are attracted to a woman that is married because they know that if they can get this woman, they don't have to have any strings attached. So they know how to use their tongue. 
to sugarcoat everything that they are saying to this woman. They know how to use their mannerism to get this woman to where they want them to be. And you at home, who is supposed to be this woman's man, is not doing all that. This takes us to the next point. Every woman, no matter how successful that woman is, she wants a man that she can feel soft and feminine enough to be vulnerable with that man. Because many people think that women are bossy. No. They can be bossy at their place of work. They can be bossy with their friends. They can be bossy out there. But when they are with their men, they want to be soft. There is this tweet that is trending out there from Kerry Hussein. And when I saw that tweet, I was like, preach it, girl, and let the choir say amen. She said, and I quote, men who provide emotional security and display leadership will get the softest, most feminine, nurturing, guard down, trusting, and submissive version of their woman. And I was like, you couldn't have said it better, girl. Because I'll break this down for them. When we talk about submission, everyone just go nuts. The men are screaming, oh, women are not submissive. The women are screaming, oh, we cannot submit to a man. But what we fail to understand is that for ladies, before you choose a man, you have to choose a man that is leader enough for you to be, want to submit to that person. And men, women out there, they naturally want to be submissive, but they need to find that safety in you. They need to get that emotional support from you. That is when submissiveness is going to come naturally. Because when you try to force a woman to submit, then you are not leader enough for her. Because if you were leader enough for her, she will submit naturally. It is not a hard thing for a woman to submit. Heck, every man wants to submit because they want to have a man that they can call their own. They want to have a man that they can let the man be a man. But then, many women, know, many women nowadays, they have grown to be so misjudged. They have grown to be so emotionally strong on their own that they really do not see a man providing that for them. So you as a man, if you have said this woman is yours, you have to be her backbone. You have to be her safety net. Because when you provide a safe space for a woman, you will get the best version of that person. I am not saying that a woman should not have her emotions together. I am not saying that a woman should not have high esteem. I am not saying that she should not have herself in check. But when she has attached herself to you, you have to lead. You have to provide security. You have to provide safety. When I talk about security and safety, I'm not only talking about the physical. I'm talking about a woman trusting you not to disgrace her behind her back. Because sometimes a man can show you that they are for you. A man can show you that they're the best thing that has ever happened to you. But behind your back, they are cheating on you. Behind your back, they are bad mouthing you because men are like that. Some men can talk bad about a woman to a point that you will feel like they didn't see anything in, in this woman in the first place. You have to be the kind of man that will take a woman to a place where she can safely be with you because no one is obligated to trust you unconditionally when you have not proven yourself worthy to be trusted. You cannot expect this woman to just trust you. You have to show her that you can be trusted. It is as simple as that. Because people are always bad mouthing women that cheat. And I am not saying cheating is a good thing. Cheating is really bad. But there are some things that can be done to stop it from happening. There are some things that can be done on your part to make a woman be safe with you. There is something about a man's relationship with Christ. There is something about a man's leadership, a man's strength that makes any woman wants to submit. And when I talk about any woman, I'm talking about the same ones, you know, that will make them want to submit to you and you will get their full attention. You will get the best version out of them. This takes us to the next point. The next point is to be committed and loyal. 
A woman wants a man that is loyal. A woman wants a man that is committed to make the relationship work. If you are the kind of man who is loyal to this woman, if you are the kind of man that is not going to be an embarrassment to this woman, because sometimes a woman will take her time, her years on earth, and she will work on herself. She will work on becoming the better version of herself. She will work on making a brand for herself. She will work on carrying herself in a way that she can look at her own self and be proud. But then she meets you and then clings herself onto you and be with you, choose you as a man that is a leader for her, choose you as a man that she wants to be with, but then you're not committed. Then you're not loyal. You become an embarrassment to those women. And everything that she has worked for comes crumbling down because she chose wrong, because she chose you. So in order for your wife not to go out on you, in order for your wife not to leave you, in order for her not to break off that relationship that you both have, you need to be a committed person. Be committed to making work. Be committed to make the changes that are required for the home to go strong. Be committed to make the changes that are required for you both to live in harmony. Be committed to make her happy. Because yes, someone's happiness should not be from another person. But it's not a hidden fact that if a man is not doing right by her woman, she automatically becomes unhappy. Because each time she tries to find happiness in the other things in her life, there is this one thing that she desperately wants. There is this one thing that she desperately needs from you. And if she's not getting that from you, she intends to become unhappy. Because when you have chosen to be with someone, their happiness should be a priority to you. Because when you make their happiness a priority, you start doing things right. You start doing things the way that they want it to be done. That is why I say in most of my videos that it is necessary for you to know your partner's love language. It is so important that I cannot stop overemphasizing it so that it can stick. Because when you know your partner's love language, it is then easy for you to do the things that they want to be done for them. It's easier for you to serve them the way they want to be served. And if you're a committed person, if you're a loyal person, you will want to know this thing. You want to work on the areas that you see that you can boost this relationship. Because every relationship that is happy, it takes two. And it takes the man. It is very important that for you to keep your woman at home, for you to keep her mind in check, you have to do those things. It is not a hidden fact that a woman wants her husband to be attractive to her. It is not a hidden fact that a woman wants her man to do the things that are going to boost her morale, the things that are going to make her happy. So if you're the kind of man who is man enough to do this for your woman, then there is no reason why she will go out on you. Because when a woman starts going out, it is so hard for you to bring her back. If this is a woman that you truly love, if this is a woman that you truly want to be with, do not take her for granted. Because she can do you wrong in such a way that you would never believe that this is the woman that you met in the first place. Be the kind of man that affirms your woman. Be the kind of man that speaks life into her. Because when you speak life into her, she always thinks about you. When you speak life into her, she's always thinking about you first. She's putting you first. Communicate clearly. It is very easy for a woman's mind to run a marathon a minute. Because when she is with you, she's mostly thinking about your safety. When she is with you, she's thinking about what you're doing. She's thinking about other ways to make you happy. So you need to be that shoulder for her to lean on. Prove to her that you're with her. Prove to her that she's the one and the only one. Prove to her that your love matters. Her love matters. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please like, share, and do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And share this video with your friends, guys. Share this video with your friends and make sure you have a happy home. Thank you so much and have a fab one, guys. Bye.